Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about outline and uh, outline offset uh, properties. While outline is CSS2, outline offset is CSS3. I'm not going to be using uh, Dreamweaver today as my editor but I'll be using an online editor which I simply love which is codepen.io forward slash pen. I've actually taken their free subscription, although you have premium subscriptions too. So let's begin. In the HTML of the document, people, this is what I would want to see: an opening div tag with a class of outline and a closing div tag. Obviously, this class name could have been a different one too. That you decide. Okay. If you would want to enter some uh, jQuery or JavaScript, you can do so too. But since this tutorial does not involve JavaScript, uh, I'm I'm actually collapsing this window. I'm going to confine myself only to the HTML and the CSS and that's it. So let's write out the uh, CSS for the only division that we have inside the HTML of the document. So as always, classes always begin with the dot or a period. Then we have the curly braces going. Let's write out uh, the declarations one by one. Before I uh, show you what an outline is, people, uh, we need to understand that outline is like an extra border. It's, it's like a border outside border. I think things will become very clear very soon. So let's start off with the width and height of the uh, division first. So width, let's say 100 px, and a height of 100 px too. All right. This is the preview pane, people, or the preview section. You don't see any preview right now, simply because as soon as I give it a border you'll be able to see it so border colon I'm, I'm gonna use the border shorten property people and this is the way you'll actually use it so let's say uh, 5px solid red or whatever okay now you can actually see now this is what is wonderful about uh, code pen the, you have a preview window you have a HTML window you have a CSS window and then obviously as you just saw you have a JS window too for JavaScript jQuery okay immediately the moment you complete your HTML and CSS uh, it throws up a preview out here automatically uh, that's great so for quick demonstrations for quick tutorials I will be using CodePen a lot in future too okay you can save the document you can share the document there's so much you can do with CodePen I just love it so the URL again is codepen.io or slash pen let's show you what an outline is basically as I said outline is an uh, you know a border outside border and it's used much the same way as we use the border so outline this time instead of saying border and uh, again let's go with uh, 5px uh, this time I can go with dashed or any other uh, you know appearance that I would want dashed or dotted or solid and there are so many other options too and then let's say Mm, pink or whatever right the pink is too light actually dodger blue let's go with dodger blue right there you go so you can actually see the preview uh, pane out here okay this is the way things actually look like right now and then I'm gonna use the outline dash offset property which is a CSS3 property we will not support it in IE yet but support it across all modern browsers and this is the way you're gonna write it. Let me show it to you. So that's outline dash offset. And basically the distance between the border and the outline, creating some space, some cushion in between. And let's say five px again, again could have been a different value, and you can actually see that it's separating the uh, there's a cushion now between the border and the outline right so that's all that this, this tutorial actually does talks about outline talks about outline offset and tells you uh, the similarities and the difference between a border and an outline and uh, let me tell you again that outline dash offset property is a CSS3 property not supported in IE yet all right and uh, before I wind the tutorial let's see what all code pen can do I can actually save my code I'm, I'm already registered and logged in people uh, I can save the pen. Pen basically is like a document. I've actually saved the document now. And once I save it, you see it gives me a URL uh, code pen dot i for slash mohit manuja for slash pen b g n y l. So this is the URL that I can actually share with the people. So if I click the share button, people, uh, this is the uh, URL that I can share with you guys. So you'll arrive at the same code right I can export the whole document as a zipped file basically if I 
exported as a Swift, you know, zip file, all the assets get saved. Um, the index.html along with the CSS file, all of them actually get saved. You can have an SMS uh, sent to your phone with the, you know, with the URL, and you're allowed ten with your free subscription. You can tweet, uh, etc. So basically, um, this is a, a great editor, people. This is uh, simply a great editor, right? And uh, as I said. The, the great part is you can just write your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript side by side. You can have your, you know, the um, the preview window down here at the bottom. Absolutely wonderful online editor, completely free. You have a premium subscription too that allows you to allows you some more features, obviously. So, people, I hope you uh, enjoyed this very short tutorial. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.